If you're looking for a really cool and quick way to summarize a YouTube video, then you are going to love this video because I found a tool that not only will summarize it really fast for free, but you can even go in and customize the information you're going to get. Let me show you the tool. It's from Glasp and it's a YouTube summary extension and it's an extension for Chrome or Safari. I use Chrome. It's totally free. It's easy to install. And once you do, <laughs> it is so amazing. Okay, so once you get it installed, it'll show up right here on the top of your video. You can see the little glass icon right there. Now, if I just click this, it's automatically going to summarize it with the default settings it comes with. And I forgot what they were. But now you could just do this right here and it'll transcribe it. And there's the time code. As I understand, it will also transcribe it in different languages. English is my only language, so that's what I have right there. If I close that though, and I go to the little gear icon right here, it opens this window. And this is where you can go in and customize it. So like, for example, you can set the theme to dark, or light. Check this out. You have all these different models, including they've just added a custom GPT. I, I use chat GPT when I use it. It's free. So we're going to leave it on that right there. You can do your default language. Now you keep scrolling down. You can do some different things about like the, you know, how, you, how much you want it to do. I just keep this one as kind of the default. Now this is the part that I think really makes this AI tool stand out. It's the fact that you can go in and customize what you're going to do. And if you've noticed, I've added several different prompts here. And if you want the prompts, I'll put them all down in the description. Here, I've told it to summarize the following for a sixth grade audience and suggest five YouTube titles. I also want it to write a short paragraph for a blog post, no more than 350 words. And it's cut off here, but it says include three key takeaways. I want it to write a short YouTube description, no more than two sentences. And I also wanted to write a short email blast, no more than 200 words. Okay, so now I'm back to the video and I'm gonna click this right here and watch what happens. It launches it. There's the transcription. And if you notice, it's doing the very first prompt right there. There's the summary and the suggestions. There's my second prompt, write a short paragraph. write a short YouTube description, no more than two sentences. And the last one, write a short email blast, no more than 200 words. All of that from this one transcription from basically the prompts I already have in there, look what it gave me. And all you've got to do is copy that. And now I can use it in either Apple Notes or Google Drive or Google Docs or whatever I use. Now, again, if you want to use the prompts, I'll put the prompts I'm using down below, but I've also gone in and changed the prompts to like, say, you know, give me some thumbnail suggestions or do something else with it. So you can do that all day long. I, what I would recommend is copying and pasting and having a list of your prompts. so You can easily just pop them in there. Those will be down in the description along with the link to the extension. Cool, huh? And if you want to check out even more things you can do with video, check out the videos on the screen now. I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching.